once in a while I'm part of projects like, um, you know, like Blood Quantum, you know, which is, a, you know, a, a fantastic story by a Mi'kmaq writer and director telling, you know, this very specific kind of story. And, uh, and I feel like I, I'm not the virus in the system, that I'm actually, I'm part of a missile that Jeff Barnaby shot into the entertainment, <laughs> like, apparatus. And it blows up. And it, you know, sends shrapnel everywhere. Uh, that's where, and I'm not meaning this in a negative way, but that's where Augie went, that's where Chief Dan George went. You know, indigenous artist heads up into the system. We think, oh, there's going to be a change. Oh, awareness is going to grow. And it wasn't. And then, I'm expressing this badly, but, and I don't want to say it's tokenism, but you never despair that, yes, Michael heading off to be the torpedo or the virus, one more time an indigenous artist will enter the system and one more time the system will absorb him and just roll right on. Does that never occur to you? What's I hate being depressive and negative like this. <laughs> do you think it's going to work and do you think this time, because we're looking for the shift, right? We're all waiting for the shift out of the lock that we've locked ourselves, the prison that we've locked ourselves in, of racism, of this, of that, of settler, of what was happened, and try to get out of the prison and create the new land that we, we want to live on. And people like you are going out and making these statements. And we're all hoping that now Michael Gray Eyes is out there. Maybe there will be a shift. But from before, it seems like it has happened. And there was a shift, but there wasn't. And we've gone from cowboys and Indians to, to uh, dance with the wolves. And I'm not sure what I'm asking, but I'm asking not to be negative. I'm asking to see some well, positive. Well, here's, here's, here's what I hear. Um, you're, 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 you're beautifully hopeful. And that's uh, tragic. <laughs> um, you think that there's a moment you think there's going to be a shift. You, you, you have faith in, in the humanity of the country, of, of the citizens, to do better. And the work of people like Augie or Gordon Tutusis or whomever is a catalyst. I think that's what you're saying. So, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, and you think that that would be a catalyst for the kind of change that you hope for and that you, um, that, that you think could occur. That's tragically flawed. Because this, because there's 500 years of history here and the work I do is really no different than the work my parents did. And really no different than the work they, their parents did and ancestors. We are, um, we're fighting this massive thing that landed on us. And it can't eradicate us. It's tried. Nearly did it especially in terms of language destruction. But it itself is irredeemable. It's a zombie that's going to, and I'm talking about, I'm talking about racism, I'm talking about capitalism, I'm talking about consumerism. It's going to chew its way through everything until it's all gone. I, I don't believe that it's, it has any other, uh, uh, there can be any other course correction. That's 
That's what the system is. That's what you brought here. 